Well, hail storms, you remember last week, they pounded down on some areas across the metro. Those storms just dropped golf ball to baseball size hail on homes and hundreds of cars, too. Uh, this was a scene at the dealership, if you remember. It's time for a lot of you affected to file insurance claims for your cars or your homes, or maybe even both. Owner and agent Amy Edmonds of Edmonds Agency Farmers Insurance joins us this morning with how you can best prepare for that whole process. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. So you guys have been busy, I'm sure, with a whole lot of claims coming in after that storm. Absolutely. I mean, we had that back in September and then also now with this one uh, that just happened, what, March 14th, I guess. Mm -hmm. The gorilla hail is what I'm right. hearing. And, yeah. Um, I mean, we have had some storms that um, I, I've just never seen the claims that we're seeing right now. So it's been bad. Okay, so let's let's be honest. This, this is something that a lot of people maybe don't look forward to dealing with. Yeah. Uh, tell us how we can just best prepare uh, to go through this process. Sure. So when it comes to filing claims, there's a lot of things that, you know, um, one thing I hear over and over again is I, you know, I saw the hail, so I called to have an adjuster come out and file a claim and look at the home to see if there's damage. Well, that is something that I think you're jumping a little bit, you know, the gun there. So one thing that you want to do is call your insurance agent. That is so important. We do in my agency policy reviews every year with my clients so they know what they're covered for. So do you have replacement costs on your roof or not? What's your deductible? All of these things we have to go over with our clients. And then further, have a specialist come out and look at the damage. See if you have a claim worthy event first because if you file that claim with a lot of carriers, now I'm not putting out there this is this and every carrier is different, mm -hmm. but if you file a claim, Sometimes that claim is going to be on your policy for five years. And carriers right now are putting bans up on how many claims will allow to even have you come to our. So what do you do if you have two claims? Yeah, because you just talked about this happening in September. We've seen this happen yep. a couple of years ago. So sure, some people are concerned about uh, filing multiple claims within a short period of time. Absolutely. You got it. And so that's call your agent. Talk to your agent. I mean, clients have my cell phone number. They call me at 11 o'clock at night if they need to. <laughs> wow. You know, and then also just know what you're insured for before you file that claim because it could really save you down the road. Okay. Is there any one thing you want people not to do? Don't just trust everybody that comes knocking on your door. Okay. Saying, hey, because we just saw something on the news about um, some general contracting company that wasn't paying out or, you know, that was, was shady. Like we work with uh, Crown Exteriors. There's companies that I would absolutely back up, but there's companies out there that are not good as well. So do your research. Look into those guys before you sign that contract and give them your money. Great advice so. there. Really quickly, we've got to wrap up. Tell us okay. how to reach you if we have some more questions. Yeah, so 314 Farmers, actually it spells out Farmers, is my agency line. I thought that was a great marketing thing when people <laughs> knew about the letters. So that's how you can reach me. All right, thank you so much for joining us with thank that. You. Good advice there, and a lot of us need that right now after those hailstorms. Stick with us. We have more Fox 2 News in the morning. Straight ahead.